where it began. I can begin to know. Oh, 7 a.m. is not a time for rock stars. Right. It is a red-eyed hour reserved for early risers like Gary Kahn. I'm making a bed for my fish. The seafood department manager who sets his own stage each morning times never seem so good. at the Metropolitan Market in Sandpoint. Alaskan suck. Now take a good look at Gary's point. I know I'm bald. <laughs> I looked in the mirror this morning. And noticed the lack of hair net. <laughs> they gave me a buy on that one. <laughs> Making it all the harder for his coworkers. It seems like another person. To swallow a piece of Gary's past. He brought it up to me a few times and I didn't believe it. What he didn't believe was this. Images of Gary's big hair, heavy metal band. And if, you, if you've seen the videos, you know, I'm wearing spandex, I got hair. I get a lot of comments about the hair in the spandex. Kind of take him in this context and put him in that one is a pretty big stretch. Don't be cruel. As lead singer of the group Invader, Gary dreamed big. I can't deny, I wanted to be a rock star. And they came close. By the early 90s, Invader financed its own CD. Yeah, there's 10 songs. And a major record label even expressed interest. We really thought we were going to make it. But the band couldn't overcome the popularity of Seattle's grunge scene. Things kind of, they, when they started going downhill, they really went downhill fast. Gary still holds on to the ticket from their final show before breaking up. 1993 was the end of it, yep. And with that, band members went on to lead the ordinary lives of non-rock stars. Definitely carpentry. <laughs> Not rock star. Drummer Scotty Casper now makes noise with a hammer. It's not as fun. Bassist Stan Hulford went into the handyman business too. Guitarist Jeff Olson now works at a shipyard. And Gary gave up singing altogether. I mean, I shelved it because I had, I had to go on. Little did any of them know, they were still rock stars. Is this for real? I mean, holy crap. In Europe. They think we're, we're, we're pretty great. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Dan got a Facebook message out of the blue this year from a music producer in Germany. He basically said that uh, how amazing it was to reach one of his, uh, one of the players in his, one of his favorite heavy metal bands of all time, which was kind of the last thing, you know, I was kind of expecting from the guy, but. Uh, a search of the internet shows just how much their music is shared and reviewed. Brilliant guitar work and vocals. I like that part. I don't know. Uncovering a glimpse of Invader's loyal following overseas. It's why Pure Steel Records signed them to a contract in April, promising to re-release much of the band's old music and giving them a chance to reignite Walk through. their rock star dream. Twice a week in a small Granite Falls rehearsal space. Invader is sweeping away 19 years. Which one? Victims. Oh. Of heavy metal dust. Oh. That one. Gradually, they're relearning how to play their very own music. Oh. And Gary is retraining his voice to reach those wickedly high notes. It's not easy, but it sure is fun. Better than watching TV every night. Beats uh, just playing by myself. No one can say what the future holds for Invader. You're out of Perhaps new music or an overseas tour. I want to go live in Germany and be a rock star. <laughs> That's what I want to do. The only certainty is that they won't reunite with their old look. And if I could take it back, I would, but that, that was an ugly era. Come on, spandex, damn. At least my spandex didn't have fishnet cutouts. Yeah, I like had so much. I had some. <laughs> spandex and hair aside, Vader's past has come back to get them, all thanks to the internet. Yeah. 
giving the fish guy and his band one last chance to catch the dream that never got away. Joe Fryer, King 5 News. I love German.